Hello, um, in the last video we introduced the topology on R, and today we are going to talk about the heine borel theorem. Um, right, so this says that in R, a compact, or sorry, a closed and bounded set is compact. All right. So we want to start out saying that we want to start out with our set, right? So let A be closed and bounded. And so, because A is bounded, um, A is contained in some, some interval from A to B, right? Um, now, we know that um, this is a general fact of topology. We know closed subsets of compact sets are compact, right? And this is essentially because uh, if you have a closed set, you can, um, if you have a closed subset of a compact set, then you can take the complement of this closed set giving you an open set and then um, or, or basically you start with an open cover of the set and then you add to it the open set given by its complement and then that's going to be an open cover of the compact set and then you can reduce that down to a finite subcover and then you get a finite subcover of the original set. Um, so since we know A is closed if we prove that this interval is compact, that will show that A is compact, right? So thus, if A to B is compact, then so is A. So we're going to prove that um, that this interval is compact. Um, so we're going to start with right an open cover, uh, of of A to B. Um, I guess I shouldn't use the same A. I'm just going to not. So let's say that the O alpha are our open sets that are covering A to B. Now, suppose there is no, no finite subcover, right? So basically suppose that this set is not compact, right? Um, we are going to use the method of interval halving again, right? We use this uh, technique in the nested intervals theorem, and really interval halving is a very useful technique in real analysis. It comes up a lot, um, at least in the, in the book that I'm following, and it's actually a really natural idea. Um, so... So we're going to let A1 equal A, B1 equal B, and consider the average A1 plus B1 over 2. Um, and, and for now, I'm just going to let this be equal to C. Then 
the intervals a1 to c and c to b1 are covered by the o's, right? This is clear because these are subsets of our of this set, so they're obviously covered. Um, and therefore, one of these can't have a finite subcover, right? Because if these both had finite subcovers, then you could union them together, and then you get a finite subcover of the original interval. So one of these. does not have a finite subcover. And we are going to call it A2, A2, B2, right? Um, now we can repeat indefinitely so we end up with a chain of nested intervals uh, right so a1 b1 contains a2 b2 and so on right then by the nested intervals theorem the intersection of um, of these intervals is equal to a point set x right where x is going to be the limit of the a one of the ai's and the bi's, um, now thus x is going to be contained in every every a one b one right. Then um, then x is in some o sub. I'll just call it x contained in some o sub b beta right. Uh, o sub beta is an open set, right? And remember from the topology on R, it's open. So there is R greater than zero such that X minus R and X plus R is contained in O sub beta. Now um, we know that the distance between B e sub K and A sub K is equal to um, the distance between B sub A or B and A divided by um, two to the K minus one. And this sequence converges to zero. So we can use the limit definition. There is some natural number n such that uh, such that b sub n minus a sub n is less than r. Now. Um, Now, x is contained in the interval a n b n, right? Because it's contained in every such interval. Um, so if y is also contained in this interval, then the distance between x and y is at most 
the distance between b sub n and a sub n, which is less than r. So y is contained in x minus uh, x minus r and x plus r, right? Thus, y is in um, thus y is in uh, O sub beta, right? Because this is a subset of O sub beta. Um, so this shows that the entire interval a sub n, b sub n, is a subset of O sub beta. Now, why is this a problem? Um, we said that each a sub n, b sub n interval cannot have a finite subcover. But we just found a finite subcover given by a single open set, right? Um, but then, O sub beta gives a finite subcover which is a contradiction, right? This contradicts our assumption that um, that the a sub n's and b, a, that the intervals cannot be, cannot have a finite subcover. Therefore, um, our assumption that a, that the interval from a to b we assumed it was not compact, and we got a contradiction. So therefore, the interval from A to B is compact. And so is A. And that's the end of the proof. So all in all, we showed that a closed and bounded set in R is compact. And we said last time that a compact set in a metric space is closed and bounded. So therefore, um, in R, closed and bounded is exactly equal to compactness. And of course, closed and bounded are much easier to work with than compactness. Um, so this is a really nice result. Um, so that's it for this time. Um, yeah.